I, have, I don't expose just zoo files. I've literally, the only zoo file I've exposed was Sappho, and I just jumped on the fucking content train. That's all I fucking did. So for you, it wasn't about moral values. It was about whether or not you get views. I guess yeah, I could say it's both. Say a flap of a butterfly's wings can cause a hurricane across the world. So what happens when a quest for fame becomes one of misfortune and shame? Okay, you have to admit, the intro was pretty radical. Anyway, switching back to serious Novely, Dander has struck me as an interesting individual, not only for his behavior, but for his toxic community. Both are equally concerning upon further inspection. I think there are a lot of misconceptions and misunderstandings, especially from previous dramas. So today, we're gonna put all the cards on the table and focus on the individual and his community. I generally do think Dander makes a lot of poor choices and decisions and his community enables that. You guys are gonna see what I mean, so let's get right on into it, cause it's a lot to unpack, like the amount of digging I had to do was insane. Anywho. Danderwolf is a furry YouTube commentator who started simply talking about Roblox videos, but his rise to fame would probably have you know him as used to having an unhealthy obsession with Garo Shadow Skill. Someone does not like my Discord server rules, they don't have to join my server. Which he is right about that, but that is no excuse for him to continue to mistreat his fans. And if you look down into the comment section, not a single negative comment is shown. And the reason for that is because Garo has all of them held for review and he only approves what he wants shown to the public. The Most notably, you may also see him as a YouTuber who constantly keeps getting a bad rep for himself. Two main examples being his feud with Labra and his big fight with Coyote Lovely and the Senate. Both of which are going to be used as examples later so keep a lookout for that. But before we understand his toxic community, we must first understand the person. And because some of you guys are meanie heads, I just want to say, please do not dox, harass, or threaten anyone mentioned in this video. Because not only is that unacceptable, but Dander practically already dug his own grave, so no need to beat a dead horse at this point. Before I show these screenshots and clips, I just want to put this out there because you have false copyright struck people before. It's not just a one-off thing, but yeah. This video does fall under fair use as it's criticism and the clips are being transformed as such. Any attempts to copyright strike this video will not be met with action because quite frankly, I don't want to give someone my personal information. So if this video gets taken down, then GG's. Anyways, I think where your problem lies is that you aren't really aware of your mistakes and that what you do is a wrong choice unless you get scolded for it or are informed otherwise. And when someone calls you out or gives you criticism on these issues, you're quick to lash out and shut them down. The best examples of these are with all the drama you've gotten yourself into in your YouTube career. The first example of this is with your remarks about Labra and her identity, which for those of you unaware, Labra is an amazing content creator. I highly recommend checking her out. She's absolutely amazing at what she does. Anywho, that drama in short being someone on Twitter had misgender lab and was corrected. Though you thought four words were being rudely directed at the two of you and you just went wild, loony, feral even. You claimed she weaponized her pronouns for cancel culture? Like, I don't know man, you apologized for this in your first now deleted apology video to her and in that video you misgendered her again. Then you go completely mad and have a conspiracy theory time with your server saying she's only doing this to milk you for content. Mind you, all this started because of this video on the info card. Check it out, it's a dope video. Anyways, Dander then makes an exposed video and I'll let this clip play out. The rest of the trans community and I do respect pronouns as you can see, but I'm fully convinced that Labrat is using her identity as a weapon to cancel people for whoever like misgenders them, like accidentally uses the wrong pronouns.
So yes, you probably don't mean those in the trans community are weaponizing their identity, except for Labrat. And your defense on why your comments aren't transphobic is because you have trans friends and you're a part of the LGBT community. Which, newsflash guys, you can still be transphobic if you're in the LGBTQ community. It's like me, as a Mexican, telling another Mexican that all they do is eat tacos. Like, it's still a racist stereotype regardless of if I'm Mexican or not. Which I very much am. Shout out to Ensenada, it's a beautiful place. Anyways, what greatly confuses me is the fact you made an apology and expose and another apology video to the same person literally in the same week, which is crazy. And practically everyone was pulling their hair out, begging you to take action, which you did. But even now you still hold a grudge against her. That being with the recent tier list drop for YouTubers in which she rated you that you do not pass the vibe check and you lost your bonkers again. You being offended and outing her for criticism against your favorite creator. Newsflash, again, if you put yourself online, you're subjected to be criticized. And you basically threw a tantrum for being rated so low. Which, me going over a previous drama that I just mentioned, it's pretty reasonable she had every right to have rated you so low due to her own experience and objective opinions about you. The cherry on top is that you accused her for making the tier list, which, if you had an ounce of double checking, the creator can be cited to Simple Nix. Another lovely creator which I personally have a bone to pick with. Freaking misspells my name in this tier list and I just will not forgive them until this dude fixes it. Making me take a second out of my day to fix it. Like who do they think they are? Getting back on track, Dander fails to take something out of a learning experience. And to visualize this, I coined this phenomenon you're gonna see a lot which is called the Dander Cycle. And feel free to screenshot this pic goes hard. Anyways, you'll see this a lot so keep this in mind for the next example being Dander and the probably worst situation he's ever been a part of. A quick recap of this situation and is related to the cold opening you saw at the beginning of the video, Dander made an exposed video on Sappho. Watch this video on the info card to know more about her. Anyways, he had made an exposed video on Sappho. I'd hardly call it an exposed video because he didn't really expose her, just kind of pulling an Icarus, flying too close to the sun, and just got absolutely burned. The audio, in which I had played at the beginning of this video, basically implied Dander had made the video to garner views, but who can really confirm this than Dander himself? I'm not here to accuse him of that, just throwing it out there and handling the facts. I wouldn't call this a Dander vs Coyote Lovely either, cause the main beef with this is with the Senate. Anyways, as Dander had put it to what's about to come. Whatever you do, the person who you are making a video about will likely see that video and will likely come after you for it. I said I went after Dander Wolf for making a response. And no, I didn't. They uploaded my video in full, no edits to their Discord, and I threatened a DMCA because it was literally just my video with no commentary. Dander had attracted zoo files into the server by making an exposed video on Sappho, putting a big target on his back, and in doing so, he exposed miners to actual, real-life, zoophilic So, now we have a rough estimate of how many miners were on that server during that disgusting time. And what physically pains me the most is that you refuse to take accountability for this and it's upsetting. Not only during that time you had made jokes about that video's file size, but also when my first video about you dropped, you had completely agreed with what I said and claimed it was your fault. But to later claim it's not your fault because you weren't there when the server was raided. <sighs> to put this in crayons, your server, your responsibility. Thank you, thank you, and no need to thank me, I, I do this for free. So yeah, two things can be true at once. It's not your fault someone betrayed you and posted feral you know what onto the server, but also poor moderation to the point where even the mods couldn't delete the message and had to wait for you to get home, which that alone is already deeply concerning. Coyote and practically the senate clowned you for this, 
understandably, what's even more infuriating is that even till today, those who wronged you are frequently talked about in your server and you clearly just hold grudges that it's pretty weird to say you don't care about someone and that you don't care if you're cancelled. Which, by the way, you have to be relevant to get cancelled. Boom! Roasted! I'll also focus on the person who betrayed you, which is Galaxy. Honestly, he deserves a video of his own. I don't want him to be a guy that gets away as he is a despicable person. I won't be making that video anytime soon because I don't have the proper qualifications to do so. Anyways, this guy took on the persona of Zack the Z guy after the real Zack got banned from your server and reintroduced because of a server invite and Galaxy was a moderator for your server, and you took notice that he was sending invites to Zack and you didn't do anything, therefore causing the incidents of exposing 60 miners in that server to Feral- The f*** is there 30 of them? <laughs> it's your, it's it's your there's only like two or three. It's Using this recording to do basic math, it gives you the very minimum of miners exposed to 30 out of 60 miners. And with one of your former moderators being a miner themselves, we can conclude that at least one confirmed miner saw that content, and that is one too many. But you had so many times to spot the red flags with this guy, and to prove it, I had combed through an hour of your Twitter space to prove so. Listening to an hour of this was torture, so let me just play it. You lovely, you're really gonna sit in here and listen to a f***ing smackdown? Wow. Yo, you should verify me again in your server, Dander. Okay, give me a second, Galaxy. Uh, and remember what I said, you better not be creating a f***ing invite to anybody. I've been anybody. a good boy, I've been a good boy. Oh, I just it's mean, only you and me, do you want to date? Hold on a second, I gotta end the space because my mom's calling. Dander, you know I've been wanting to date you for a while. Honestly, I'm just gonna say this. I'm tired of Coyote being a shitter. He's he's literally. I don't know what to do with him. I'm just... Coyote's a fing nick. So, not only did you allow your friend to badmouth the creator you're beefing with, to flirt with you, and to say a racial slur to 357 people in that space with you, demonstrates how you completely oversight all of this activity for the reason that he was on your side at this point in time. And you gave him the verification again, even though you can see in the logs he was making the invites and well, he exposed your server to Feral, you know what. And two things can be true at once. Yes, he did it, but with how the events came to pass and your failure to notice these things, bears accountability that you have to take. Your defense for Galaxy being allowed to send invites is because of him being blackmailed. You say Zack threatened to dock Galaxy's credit card, but is this not you threatening the same thing? Huge edit. As of writing this, Dander not only sent Galaxy's driver's license, but his credit card and cash app info to his Discord server. All of this has now been deleted, but this is such an awful thing and disgusting thing to do to another person. Two wrongs don't make a right, no matter if you think if it's deserved or not. The damage has been done by your negligence and not taking care of your server. And this is a great segue to explore the toxic behavior of your server. Your server constantly proves itself that it's just not a great place to be in. With your server reintroducing miners after this ordeal, you decided to mock the people who told you not to do that. With this screenshot, you joked about putting miners in danger after you literally just did with Galaxy. But you also have server members bullying a creator that they left at your server, joking about legalizing child porn, borderline not safe for work. My audience could consist of minors, I would have to keep it as safe for work as possible. You had gore posted, borderline racism, using slurs, sexism, your server member posting an actual IP grabber, which that link hasn't been deleted by the way. Your moderator doing basically jack squat to combat this, so please tell me what do they actually do? And not only that, but for self roles, you can't even pick your own age anymore, so now there's basically no estimate to who are minors that you need to evacuate if things go self and who's like over 60. Again, is this a safe space for minors now? 
literally an answer as easy as yes or no. The fact that all this breaks your rules and these people still aren't facing repercussions, I literally do not know if these server rules are even useful anymore. Let's also not forget the accusations of your server being a zoo hunting one. It's not true, but it sure seems like it. As even to this day, you still have conversations in there, with miners also in there again. What's well, the solution in VR uh, chat? Yeah. VR chat for you, man. That. Are you actually dating Sappho? I don't think my Steam account will be banned for just I am. Doing it, are you, but you're yeah, a furry though, right? I am. You are. And yet, we yeah. just can't find common ground and be accepting, you know, one of the most accepting communities ever turns its back on yeah, just one. random people. Again, it seems like you're doing the same thing people criticize you about. Also, when it comes to people defending you, it's mostly just minors. You want to know how I even found out about Senate? Uh, a miner told me about it. Especially with a former mod of yours being a miner, and their bio literally reads as an average zoo bully. And well, you guessed it, it involves themselves with the whole zoo discussion. I don't agree any miner should be doing that type of stuff. As you can see with Dander, it's dangerous and can bite you really hard. This sentiment can be applied to me as well. I shouldn't be having to make a video like this, but here we are. I guess one of the greatest things Dander has learned over this is this. Whatever you do, the person who you are making a video about will likely see that video and will likely come after you for it. Yeah, out of all the videos and tweets you made about Sappho, Coyote, Lab, and those who opposed you, they all literally came back to bite you in the bum and you're still talking about them, still putting yourself in harm's way with zoo files. I censored this last clip at the end because it's literally just a hard R. Like, you can't take a second out of your day to see if a TikTok audio has hurtful words, so how can you be trusted to say you expose zoo files when you can't double check a TikTok audio? Dear Dander. Stop it. Get some help. You have proven to yourself again and again that you're just not cut out to fully be a part of the content group you want to be in. You have shown you can't really handle these types of situations. In the end, only making it worse for yourself. You involve minors and continue to have minors involved in your expose on people. Giving you the benefit of the doubt, this is not the end. But I can assure you, trust takes a long time to get back. A simple apology video won't change that. And stating it's in the past won't make everything go away. Because the past reflects the future. You can't change what can be if you don't know what was. Your server and community also have to learn to, well, be respectful. The fact they constantly agree with you and almost encourages you to do the behavior we see is concerning. Hopefully, this video does its job to give context and finally provide a wake-up call to Dander. And if you're watching this, then use this information and apply it. Which, most likely, you're gonna watch two seconds of this and attack me. And I will be prepared to defend myself. No, I won't because I won't respond publicly and this video does pretty much everyone's job to understand your troublesome nature. So this is most likely the only time I'll ever talk about dander again in public light. Anyways, keep life lovely and this is lovely. Logging off.